today I'm just uh, kind of quickly mich replace Michelin for the first five, 10 minutes. And I was giving some updates on the biology, BLG 5070 and 5071 exams. So there will be two versions of two versions of the exam available for each of the course code. Hopefully sometime soon. And as you probably have seen the in the newsletters, Michelin is looking for people to validate the exams. Right, because so, we have uh, validate uh, the first version already validated. Uh, there are going to be some small changes, and we will report them when they are made. But the second version of the exams, we, we would like to, um, people, if anybody is doing biology courses, to if you want to validate, because we have both the theories and the practical uh, lining up to, to go. And I was telling the team as well that I am also putting up together a pretest because I biology being the optional courses, I feel many teacher are probably teaching like me kind of individualize, just let the student read technique. Just because you there's also math and other science going on at the same time. So I I'm putting I'm putting together a pretest that will hopefully well prepare your student for the actual exams. And I have also put together a, a biology website. This was showcased a while ago, but since I have physically finished talking about the exam, I will show you the website. <laughs> and there are talk about, and this is, what actually why I came on to talk to Michelin about. Um, I built a Google site. And I don't know how many centers are actually using Google. Because I can also, if there are interest to basically use what I have and put it in Moodle, because I'm also familiar with Moodles. And Microsoft OneNote, so it can be incorporated into Teams for those school board that are using Microsoft Teams. And of course, I can actually put it into actual Google Classroom as well. Google Site was chosen as the first one just because it's much easier to build and easy to share. Because right now there's not much, and I will show you, there's not information collecting tools being used on the Google site. So really just for information only. So I didn't need to have all the function of an LMS. I just need uh, resources where the student can click on and just listen to the variety of videos, et cetera. This is what the website looked like. I have made it for both courses and queue things. I am relying on the SOFAT book because pretty much that's the only books available. So the chapters are from basically from the SOFAT books, but for each chapters, I have some complementary information, mostly in video form, just so for the student who needs to have more animations and also having the information read to them, this is where they can go as well. And it corresponds to different part of the chapter, so they can follow along. And at the end of each chapter, I have the I can statements just to help the students to prioritize the information a little bit as well. So this is essentially the format for each and every single chapter for in the biology and also in the 50771 as well. And eventually, the pretest when it's ready will go on the website as well. So, as you can see, it's really just a collection of vetted, useful videos that are related to the course. There's a lot of genetic diseases or uh, reproductive problems in the book. So, I actually try to find publicly available video of person 
being interviewed for like uh, the diseases just to put a face to the conditions to hopefully help the student relate better to what they're learning to real life. So there's a when there's a whole section about diseases, I try to find a quick video for each one of just uh, the patient themselves, how they feel. And that's it. Jessica, do you have this type of, of uh, site for other science courses? I do. Um, only I did it for, I, I have sites that I created for ETSB. So oh, if, you can, okay. if you contact me, I, I will ask, uh, I'm pretty sure ETSB are very- Does sharing. ETSB um, usually had uh, shared a long time ago, 61, 62, science four, but, uh, and I love the, uh, the, the site. It's really convenient. And I have one- I'm using Microsoft Teams, so I find the students are I probably will have to switch eventually. It looks more difficult. Microsoft Teams, uh, you're right, Google and Moodle are a lot more simple. Yeah, but it all depends on what you want because I find Teams are very good, and especially if you need to have the student to create uh, essays and stuff like that, because you're already in a Microsoft environment, the whole integration is much easier versus kind of having different things popping up and looking differently depending on the platform you chose. But I could, um, for any of the sites, because I know if I just kind of copy and paste information and organize it into chapters in the OneNote, right? because in OneNote I can put drawing, I can embed uh, video, et cetera, then I can actually organize them in chapters as well as different tabs. Those you can easily incorporate into Teams. And you can even have a public tab versus a private tab for each student as well. Yeah. So something I have have it for biology. Um, I have something for TSC 4064. Sim similar format, just a whole bunch of videos. Um, but uh, and I can stem it at the end just to help the student to focus. Okay, well, so great. Uh, I'm using Microsoft team. And unfortunately, I'm not teaching about biology. So, uh, but science four definitely and TSC 464 students have a lot of difficulties with it. So um, uh, I have a tendency maybe to share too many resources in there. So uh, I will share. I'll share with what I have in there and maybe we can uh, yeah. uh, cross a couple of uh, other materials in there. We'll see. Yeah, it's because every school board uses a different platform. Yeah, it, I uh, I know. I think it's a receipt that has a Moodle. I I love Moodle, but you need a you need an account. You actually need to register for a course versus yes, a Google site. I can just give you the site, and you can give your site the site address to a students, and then yeah. shared. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But but I find I I personally I. Th feel that uh, big, Moodle has a big advantage though, H5P. I have much more success sometimes from the most difficult students using H5P because then they get the immediate, yes, I got it right, no, I got it wrong, if I build an H5P for it. It's extremely time consuming, I have to warn you guys. And Moodle supports it beautifully, but not Google Sites. Because, for example, for TSC 4064, I have uh, 61, I have students who are having liter literacy issues. So at the beginning, I have them doing the word search puzzles, looking for the word, like spelling of current voltage. And I actually made them on the on H5P so they can actually click and drag and find it, be able to do it digitally because I run a hybrid class. But I find anything else that's slightly more complex, Google site just break down. It doesn't it wasn't able to load. So if but if anybody know how to do that in Google site, I would love to know because I know I can put it in Moodle, but Moodle had to be hosted, had to be accounts a lot more complicated. Yeah, uh, so Teresa, I the ETS um the so the, the biology one are basically funded by proceed. 
So those are uh, going to come out with the exams and there's um, Michelin and I will talk about, hey, cat. <laughs> um talk about potentially making into different platforms but the other ones are uh what i made for the etsb so i will uh, get back to you on that and sarah as well right because you guys are just looking for the uh tsc 406461 stuff like that i know those are difficult i find it very very difficult to teach just because so much why do they have to include so much oh yeah so Jessica, will you share the link and the Google link somehow? Like in the uh, chat or how do you how are you gonna share it? The the biology sites? Yeah. For the so Google. Knowing, just so you know, they are kind of still work in progress. The pretests and some yeah. of the detail are not on. And right now I'm using the site on my own students. So the contact information is of my own. Okay. But, uh, I'll put that in the chat. I am because it's a it's a Google site, so any teacher who wants to kind of make it their own, what they can do is I will share it. They make a copy. They change out the content information. They add whatever they want. They publish it on their end. What up? And I can guide them through it if they want. Yeah, Google Google site is very is much more user friendly compared to uh, Teams or Moodles. Yeah. But is there is there are there interest in having something like this available in different platforms? Because that's one of the things that uh, Michelin and I will talk about later on. Because I made it in front of Google Sites right now, but we want it to be user friendly to other teachers, not just me. Uh, I don't use Moodle myself, and uh, I, I know that our uh, my French colleagues use it lots, and I think at one point, a long time ago, I did a probably an account, but I've never had, I never use it. So uh, for me, but I mean, it doesn't mean it might not be good for other people, like you said, depending on the, the value of it there. But uh, yeah, that's my, where, where I am on that. Okay. Uh, Sarah, you say your school is going to abandon Microsoft or keep Microsoft? because really not a lot of uh, teachers uh, are using the Microsoft Teams. In fact, they're using it in translation, but I found out other uh, school teaching sites, mostly Google or Moodle. So I was just wondering if it would be easier to exchange material uh, via other platforms. And I find also that my students are not really looking or in, uh, you know, Besides the fact that it's individualized setting, they are not looking at necessarily all the resources available on Microsoft Teams. So I was just wondering if other uh, platforms are easier. I'll probably ask as well uh, France Delorier because she's been using mostly Google and she loves it. She really loves it. So I was just even thinking of uh, maybe using the same kind of uh, platform. It would be easier for the exchange between uh, our schools. I personally find because I have used Moodle, have used Google Classroom, have used Google Sites. Um, student who doesn't follow will just not follow. No matter what you do and where you put it, they they yeah. you will be lucky if they even just look at the book, right? <laughs> and yeah, I have students who just really kind of true, look yeah. at the book and then get totally confused. And then I point them to like extra information here, correction here, but they will they just um yeah so i feel it's not necessarily the platform is i feel just personality of the students no you may be right I, at the time i must admit i wasn't in Moodle for years and then Moodle closed on us very abruptly so i had to uh switch and at the time i chose uh, microsoft team so i regrated all my material and transferred to uh microsoft team that's where I stand right now. So, uh, you know, I have all the TSG and TSC uh, in Microsoft Teams and the two chemistry courses as well. That's all I teach at the moment. Hey, Nishna is here. Our, 
you're lucky. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It never ever happened. And I tried to kind of squeeze it out out of it, but I couldn't. But I have good news. So I, you know, I have to, I had to stay a little bit longer. So uh, I have too many good news to tell you. First of all, thank you, Jessica. <laughs> That's one. Well, I have good news. I don't know if you had a chance. But our friends at SOFAD, I don't know, I'm going to, if you see, they have a 4060 book coming Whoa. out. Yay. Oh. oh, my God. Right. Hold on, let me show you. I don't, I'm going to uh, take off my background. Uh, I, I, they gave me, the lady came, Madame Grimard, came specially to see me, to give me the sample. Uh, I don't know if you could see it. And honestly, not to be mean, but it's a really good book. Wow, well, it's a really good book. Whatever I find, uh, whatever I have here, it looks good, you know? Oh, there it is. Look at this. Maybe yes. Oh, my up. God. I'm dreaming. Look at this. The famous 4060. Ooh. And it's, it's going to, uh, the English one, they promised me, like, it's super nice. It's very colorful. Oh, I like the. Uh... I'm going to, like, just share with you. Because. They gave me this and I said, oh my God, you're going to make everyone that I know <laughs> yes. super happy. And it's designed, let me show you. It's super well done in terms like the, notice that they go a lot like, uh, hold on, let me show you. Uh, all the symbols, hold on. Here, I don't know if you see. Uh, what I really like, it's stuff like that. Notice well, that they that show you, they yeah. explain, they give you pictures. And anyways, I thought it's very, very nicely done. So um, it's coming out. The English one, she goes to me. I promise you we're trying our best to get it out for, um, for, um, for uh, June, but it might be for September because unfortunately translation, you know, but at least we have one. Come on, that's good news. That's progress. <laughs> that's number one. Um, number two, I was well, that's why I was a bit late because I was talking to Madame Paris from the Meg, and she wants to come and meet everybody. And so is uh, Monsieur Dostaler. So they were saying, can we make a, like a common meeting the the for math and science one time? And they're both gonna come, and they want us to invite Barbara. <laughs> and Tina and to have the whole like the whole team and to 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 so they can present themselves and like see what's coming up and what's you know oh. so that's why we were like she was giving me dates and I said you know what I'll get back to you with a date because I can't you know work with your dates because she wants them in the day at nine o'clock there's no way we could do well I don't know unless everybody's okay with nine o'clock meetings so I said, I rather after work, like maybe at three or a lunchtime, maybe, I don't know, it's up to you. You decide for me, you decide, you let me know when you're good for that. So um, they'll be, they'll be happy to come. And, and at least uh, because I've been working with them and I've been pushing so hard for them to, you know, to come and to include us in everything. So, uh, you know, now we have uh, their ear, <laughs> so I want to take advantage of their ear. And I already have them committed for a meeting this year and a meeting in September. So I reserve them already for two meetings because balancing act on their end on when and where. And what's nice is I found out also Madame Paris is being re renewed. So we're not having a new person next year. <laughs> That's a very good news for us because then exams will definitely not come out. I can promise you that much. So yeah, things are coming down. So that's news number two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that meeting will not be recorded. She specified that part, yeah. So, um, and um, number three, I don't know if you're aware, today, I think today or yesterday, we got an info sanction for math. MTH, we got uh, some changes in the DED that just got published and some new exams, prototype version A's that came in. So just to let you know who go see your CPs and ask them to update the exam banks. I will come back to you hopefully maybe next time with the changes because there is few like small changes and they're doing it progressive. 
So they're not they're not doing it as a one shot change. And I think Barbara, maybe you could talk to that in a bit or now. Please jump in. Uh, are you referring to the remaniement of the science exams? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they, they have been doing them. Um, updating of the math exams. It's been a year and a half. And we, super, we're going to start the uh, remaniment of the science. And uh, we're going to start with the 59, 60, and 64. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to make one version based on the new DEDs that are going to come out when, whenever they're posted. And um, I believe there'll be a prototype of the 4064, but I think that's the only one that they're going to make a prototype of. And so we will take a look at our version B of the 4064 and make sure it's aligned with the new DEDs and with the uh, prototype. So that should be occurring super, <laughs> I'm told. <laughs> I don't know if you if you all received also the invitation, a very, very, very good news, which I was like, so like, I was drilling some people last year about. Uh, we're going to have a PDA, I don't know if you're aware, Progression des Apprentissages de Science. We're going to have a progression of learning in science, which is amazing. Um, and I think some of the school boards have received uh, an invitation for validation. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was the CSDM who got the... Uh, the mandate to develop it. And we they're requesting from people from all over Quebec to validate the progression of learning. So the letter was sent in the network. Some school board received it faster than others. It's the trickling down effect, which uh, some of you heard of, received or not. But I really like, that's one of the thing I also talked to Madame Paris. I was like, please let's have an, a fair representation. So that's why I was hoping, you know, to, to have voices from the English network and a voice from the indigenous network. So because we're minorities both, so the majority is the Francophone sector. So she, she confirmed to me that she had received a lot of people interested from the indigenous and the English sector. So I was very, very happy um, that there was an interest and a voice on that table. And this is something I'm gonna keep on pushing on every project there is. So I, I you know, just to, to, to make it fair. So we have a voice on the table like everybody else. Um, the other thing um, that I encourage you for math, I know I know we're not in math, but just to keep an eye. And I know this also goes for, for Barbara's group. Soon there'll be groups to, to kind of work on the remaniement. So if you're interested, uh, to, to, to keep in mind what subject specifically you're interested in and to let me know. <laughs> Give, if, I'm going to start off a list of, uh, of, you could put your name and the topic you're interested in, like which module you're interested in. And when Barbara contact me, then I have a list of people that I could say, you know what, I have four or five people that will be willing to work. You could choose by topic, by, by module versus like anything. Right, so I think that if we have it ahead of time, that'll be good. So I think that'll help Barbara. It'll help me also, and uh, you know, so I'll be starting something like that for the network, and that goes the same thing for Tina for the math. I'm gonna have it in the math meeting too, because I know for the math they're like looking to start. I think sooner, and correct me, Barbara. I think sooner than later, because they're already on it, right? Sorry, Jess. Uh, just to answer you, sorry, just just to answer you. Yes, the math has started, and they also, they had meetings, and this is what I want to ask you, they had meetings for validation of the changes, and they were bilingual meetings because they weren't able to get enough English teachers. So I don't know if that's something that you're looking at that we might have a, because with my French colleague, we, were, we talked about it, and we might have bilingual meetings if but if you can get enough English teachers, certainly I'll, I'll meet with them. But how do you feel about that? Like whether it, be, it would be done in French and English at the same time, the validation. I, I cannot speak personally, but I know Julie Vallée had attended one of those, was supposed to be like bilingual and not being French just because there were too, not too many. So she was fine, but I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure. I, personally, I'm okay. I don't know what you teachers, what you guys think. Teresa, Michelle, uh, Jessica, Asa. Language when there's on days and off days, and some days nothing is going in. Some days I'm like blah, 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 blah coming out. So it depends. But my actually, my question was, what is remain on? Hmm. That word, I don't, I don't recognize that word. Yeah. I'll let you take it, Barbara. Um, okay, what it is, is they've changed the DEDs. They've, uh, th they're adapting the DEDs. They're changing the criteria of evaluation. And the remaniment, remaniment means to redo what already exists. So we're sort of redoing, re-evaluating and changing the exams based on the DED. The program is the same. The concepts are the same, I'm told. Nothing will be changed in there. It's just the DED. And then when we talk about the uh, evaluation and um, uh, Micheline, remember we did at AKFGA, we did a number with Madame saint Amar. we did a number of workshops. <clears throat> like there'll be the tasks. Um, there'll be a task where there's an explanation, a calculation, a description, and an opinion task. That's sort of the new one where the opinion, they, they'd be um, expressing their opinion or making a choice in uh, something. So it's taking the existing exams <clears throat> and modifying them, adjusting them to be aligned with the, um, uh, the new DEDs. And number of tasks will be reduced. Like in the chemistry and the physics, I don't know if you remember, sometimes we have some exams with seven or eight tasks. So that will be reduced to four or five max tasks. So it's, I don't know if this is clear, Jessica, this is what I'm told and this is my understanding. It's modifying existing exams to align with the changes in the DED. And the criteria has been changed a bit. Um, Things have been moved around a bit in the in the criteria and also the rubric, the way you know how we have the evaluation booklet where we have the observable elements and then you go to the rubric. Now that's going to be adjusted. Like remember Michelin, we presented that workshop where yeah. so it's going to be along those lines. I've yet to see what it actually looks like, but along those lines there where like uh, let's say it's criteria 1.1. So each task, if task one uh, or task two, and maybe task four aligns with 101, then you'll do the evaluation underneath. So it'll all be following. That part is supposed to make it easier to correct. Yeah. That's my understanding. Micheline, do you want to add anything to that? It's very yeah. similar to what we did in the past. That's my understanding. Yeah. Well, it's exactly what Barbara said. It's exactly, it's what it is. It's like the DED, remember, it's it's a document in, in a, like in progression all the time. So whenever there's like changes and or like let's say complaints or they feel like, okay, certain certain criteria needs to be refined more, uh, uh, maybe not altered, but let's say it's written in a way because everything in this document based on what I see, honestly, every word there, there's people who spend hours kind of this deciphering every word and what it means and how they could go about like bypassing things. So the DED is like, you know, like almost like saying it's the official document on how we prescribe sanctions, right? So if if there's a, a way or there's a change in how they evaluate anything, it has to start from there. This is the official document where adjustment comes in to say, okay, now the criteria, let's say 1.1, we used to do this, 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 may, this element, we could remove it and make it more clear by adding this word here and that word here. And that has an impact in, in everything. Like, uh, so the representation, change of register, whatever it is they're evaluating. So the changes in the requirements starts from the DED because everything is built on the DED. And those documents are active documents. They're not like once created, it's for life. No, <laughs> every so and so, like look at the fifty nine and sixty. There are no programs; they're already changing them. So let's okay, just to tell you how dynamic things are. We can't keep up. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, Michelle. Um, so is the, this happening in math and science both, or what levels? Or wow, it's happened in math. The secondary uh, three has already been. Roman, Romanid, <laughs> uh, and I believe they're working on the five right now. I'd have to verify with um, with my colleague, 
So there, that's my understanding. The science, as I said, we're, my understanding is we're mandated to begin with the 4059, the 4060, and the 4064. And then we'll see. I don't know what's happening with the biology, the chemistry, and the physics, but that'll follow. So, okay, if I, if I, just to clarify, so the math secondary three, there's been some changes with the yes. DED and upgraded, and it's going to be falling to the rubrics and to the exams? Yes, I believe it's already done. So um, if, I, if I haven't heard this through my, my school board, I need to find and follow up when I'm, because we're changing tons of staff. So glad I'm at this meeting today to know that because we would be using old stuff again, I guess. Okay, thank you. But just just to tell you, honestly, based on what I understood, I, I'm receiving the info sanction as, as, let's say, as fast as I get my hand on them because they still have to go through our, like our CS, our, our, our center, and the, the sanctioned person will distribute it to everybody and sends it to me so I could share with you. But I know some school boards are smaller. So the sanctioned person most of the time have multiple hats. So the minute they get it, they get it faster around, which is great. Um, the most recent one is the MTH. So like, like Barbara said, the math one is the most recent one based to my knowledge, but also based on what Madame Paris had just mentioned, you know, also like Barbara said, also they're looking at the 59 and the 60 and the 64. And just to let you know, gives you a heads up of an example, the 59, the, uh, the prototype, not the prototype because they don't give a prototype. Well, they had an exam that somebody has done. It was like a scream by everybody. Nobody wanted to do those exams because they're, they were much harder than the 63. So what they did, they had reworked them and the people who worked on it, now they put it in a way that it's a bit smoother. Personally, I still find it very difficult. That's my, my opinion, but that's, but they're not the same, like they're, they're continuous work that's being done to adjust the level of difficulty. You know, uh, the, the English, the, uh, the, the English sector had created, participated in creating, I think for the 59, if I'm not mistaken, Barbara is, I don't know if it's version B or C, if I'm not mistaken, B, that's it. So uh, B and C, I think, right? Well, we did, uh, BIM, we did a, um, an A, B, and a C for the 59. And so we're going to remani the A. So the 59A, the 60A, but the 64, we're doing the B because the ministry has a prototype A. So in the 64, there'll be two versions. So once we've modified the exams, we're going to do the A. And then when we have time, We'll do we'll do the B, but for at first there'll just be one version available, and we'll travel. We'll travel. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to travel. We'll uh, work as fast as we can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, yeah. So the fifty nine sixty, they're they're in like they're in demand right now because everyone implemented those. Uh, the majority of the center implemented it. And uh, you're right, the sixty four. Uh, but just to go back on the biology, for example. There's an info sanction that came out. The minister is not doing biology for Sec Five, so we were super happy <laughs> that we took the lead uh, on the biology for the fifty seventy and fifty seventy one. And like you all know, there is a version A that is circulating right now in the English network that has been translated in the French network. You know, and uh, obviously, uh, thank goodness, uh, one of our members, <laughs> Jessica, is here, so I could talk about it um, a little bit if you want. But we also got mandated this year to have a version B. So the version B, we could, like Jessica, you could give them an update a bit on, I don't know if you shared about it a bit before, but also the French sector is desperately waiting for a version B also because there's no, nobody's working on biology right now and they're having a hell of a time for the laboratory component. So, <laughs> and the laboratory component, I was telling, just to go back a step, last week I was at the IKFGA and I gave like, um, I think five workshops. So <laughs> just to give you, that's called madness. And I got to talk to a lot of people on the French side, on the prison side, on like provincially, and and they were uh, they were super super happy. Some people came up to us and saying, "Oh, uh, we're so thankful for for biology that you have it." 
and and also uh, if I don't know if everybody's aware we also thanks to uh, Sir Wilfred Gloria also we have the laboratory um, the lab video laboratory they were super excited about that for the 59 and they were like when are you going to release the rest we're like okay <laughs> we're slowly building that too so we're we're starting to have a name in the like everywhere that the English sector is contributing and you know it's great so uh so we're taking things by storm I'm happy to say that biology they're getting translated the the laboratory uh, the, the the lab laboratory is available for you guys to use and is being translated it will be published in um for French in French and I think if I'm not mistaken by June so uh, we have a lot of things going on and another good news, I know maybe it's a bit sideways for the CCBE math. Also, we get, they, they were looking like they were looking at relooking at exams a bit. I know that's maybe a side note, but I spoke I spoke to Tina. I saw her, and she was saying uh, she was saying no 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 please let me know if there is because this is in our in our project we need people to push for it and hopefully the table of liaison will put it as a priority so I know it is a priority because a lot of teachers really are asking for new exams for the CCTV and as just to let you know also there is that uh, consultation that was going around with Martin Francoeur that we were doing to ask people's uh, teachers input on on uh, what would you like to see change? What's your priority? The DDs or reformatting the CCBE or having a new pathway to get it faster to the FP. All of these things are still dynamically still in consultation in the network. So just to let you know. Um, so that's it. So there's a lot of things going on. <laughs> uh, a lot of things, lots of projects that's going on. I know a lot of centers being requesting building exams for the SEC 2 especially and the SEC 1. Uh, I'm trying to do my best to collect a lot of exams from the French sector also to help out with. And um, the same thing for science. Uh, one thing I wanted to consult you with when we're talking about science, we had um, at the Kiev GL, we had I had done a workshop on the C1, the competency one, which is the, the laboratory competency in terms of the manifestation and the competency. And I've done also collective correction. Is that something you'll be interested in? Would you like to have a group of like just teacher getting together and we could do collective correction for competencies? So there is an interest for that in science? Any level in particular that you would like to, a sec three, sec four, sec five, is it more like the chemistry physics you prefer or something more like in the sciences of four? Just to know. Something easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michelle. Not easy. Well, I'll just okay. be like a listener. <laughs> Okay, but what, what do you teach in your center? You do sciences all the way to physics, chemistry too? Well, we're supposed to, but nobody's uh, requested it this year. So it's, uh, yeah, okay. I get more requests for the biology. So. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Well, biology right now, it's that's another thing. I don't know, Jessica, how much detail you consulted this crowd for uh, the website that we want to put together for biology. I showed them the website. <laughs> ah, even better. So she yeah. went all the way, good. So this is this is another thing. So for biology, I mean, I, I, we're super lucky. We have a group of people who are like super dedicated. We have like you know brilliant minds together, who who are devoted to develop this course. Uh, then Jessica has suggested, why don't we put like a site where we could help teacher teach biology? So that could be optional courses for 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 five. So. Um, that's it. Okay, so I'll take notes to do a collective correction for sciences. Would you like to do it this year or beginning of next year? I just need to know for time. Next year? <laughs> or June, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Sarah, what do you think? I see your head. You're like, no, I'm not interested this year. I'm done. 
I so maybe picture. beginning of next year, maybe, maybe. September, yeah. October. Would yeah. September be a good time or is it too early? Sorry? Is September a good time or is it too early? Or you it prefer really early October? It depends on the subscription and what's going on because there are a lot of questions on the uh, registrations. And if we see compared this year to last year, you know, there is a big drop that uh, is in question and a lot of reorganization right now within our center. So we'll have yeah. so right now is not really a good time because we can't really commit on anything it would be uh, yeah. fake somewhere. So, okay. okay. But you too, in your center, you're teaching sciences from three to five also, or? Ma you, myself? Yeah. Yeah, no, I teach uh, science only. And, oh, you're uh, doing a science, okay. So science uh, four and science and chemistry or sec five in there, we teach physics as well. We haven't uh, taught uh, biology at all. And okay. there is no intent so far to teach biology. Okay. Because it's an option courses and we're really uh, right now giving the priority to the, uh, to really, the basic. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Basically, they want to go to CISREP, they want to do nursing, for example. Yeah. So biology really doesn't add to these. So we kind of let go for now. Yeah. If yeah. any increase or any real interest, we'll see. But right now it's a big deal. Okay. Well, this is, I have, like I said to you, I have so many news to tell you. These are the big news. So there is, uh, SOFAD has the 4060 that came out, which is great. We have a version B of bio that is like being worked and hopefully we're aiming for like June to have it finished, right, Jess? More or less, I think. Let's let's hope so. <laughs> so that's a great thing. Uh, we're hoping also like uh, maybe September, next September, we start off also with the 4060 labor, uh, laboratory library also to be published. That will be like, we'll have 59 and 60 done. So, you know, that'll be great. Um, maybe we'll do a collective cor uh, correction next year, early September for for sciences. We'll pick, I mean, at the end of the day, for a group, we're going to be in a room somewhere and we'll have real exams with real data and I'll probably contact somebody who would like to share their classroom or we might, we'll figure it out by then. And um, just to let you know, whoever is interested to validate like exam, like uh, Barbara was saying, uh, or like to work with Vim on that, just to send me at least your interest. So I'll keep you like your, my top choices for whatever interest uh, that you, you want. And if there's needs in terms of anything didactics, please let me know. Also, one more thing I had, uh, I know I had spoken to you about uh, Marie-France, Edition Marie-France about uh, uh, um, what is it called? The, the book Rally Math. That was it's a French it's a French book that got translated. The thirty fifty one that got translated in English. Now they're translating also thirty fifty three. What it is? It's a collection of also complex tasks, progressively getting hard, like progressively harder. Uh, that was created also by Martin Franca, which was trying to get all his collection being translated into English. So. We're trying to create more didactic materials in, in English as much as we can. If there's anything you're missing, please let me know. Uh, so I can put groups or I'll keep you on my list the minute I find something that you'll need and I'll send it to you. Another thing that is being cooked in the kitchen <laughs> that is that only <laughs> hopefully it'll be ready for next year. There's an astronomy course that Western Quebec is taking lead on for option five for SEC 5, just because they have a lot of students that they're missing option courses. And I had spoken to some teachers and specific one specific teacher who's like, um, like in love with astronomy. He goes, you know what, for, for um, engagement purposes, he wanted to, to create an astronomy course for SEC 5 and he's gonna be testing it and see, how, you know, Sec five level of difficulty anyway. So all you need is a telescope and get students to to fall in love with the stars, you know. So um, and hopefully all his material once it's going to be ready, they'll be distributed also for for a local course as a local course. So there's like we're trying to kind of fill in the voids 
for the SEC-5 optional science courses and for computer science also. Uh, some, I know some, some centers took leads on uh, writing exam, developing exam for robotics and programming. So in case, um, uh, in case you also are interested in computer science, uh, optional courses, let me know also. There's lots of things that's been cooking around also. So there's a lot of things being, you know, like a lot of centers right now are having difficulty filling up their classes, right? So they're working on developing courses that they don't usually have time to do. So, uh, so uh, these are all things that are, Sooner or later, we're going to use. Yeah, Sarah. Question regarding, uh, you know, uh, facing some, uh, you know, uh, students, or there has been some requests on hybrid. Uh, Jessica, you mentioned hybrid earlier. I'm talking about the true hybrid, meaning people teaching at the same time online and in class, especially in the design setting. Would you please happen to know in science who is doing hybrid? I actually, uh, one of my colleagues, he's done it for years. And I okay. spoke to him actually to come as a guest speaker here among this group to talk about how he does it. And that's, that's why one thing, like I'm trying to find a different formula to help you. Like this is, of course, is like a forum you come and we share whatever. But if there is a topic that specifically you need, like I know hybrid, comodal, all this new blended learning business is new, but there is some people who found ways that works for them. And this specific person, he teaches all level of science, all modules at all at the same time and math included. So he, 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 he was able to, to, to manage it somehow because I had a talk with him. I did a workshop with him on the laboratory component and we had a nice talk. His name is Benoit Millet exceptional like you talk to him he like i mean richard knows him he juggles like a million ball and i said to him great would you be willing to come and maybe have a conversation with teachers who are trying to do let's say uh comodal or hybrid or and he goes of course i would love that it's just we have to find a, like maybe probably like maybe what i'm going to try to do is maybe a put a list of guest speaker with specific topic and i don't want to make it too long also because it's not fun when it's so long, but come in like maybe for 15, 20 minutes, tell you how he does things and have a conversation. I think that- uh, Which center is he? He's on the French side. Oh, he's on the French side. He's, he's on the French side. However, you know, the constraint on the French side is a lot higher than our centers. So he'll be somebody really good to talk to. And from the English side, well, <laughs> we all know Jessica, the, the, the master, the MC on our side. She's the, the master of her art, of her craft, of uh, multitasking a million schools and million groups. And she still have hair, look at that. Thank you, Jess. So probably it'll be nice to probably, what I'm gonna try to do, maybe get a panel of two, three people, different ways to inspire you. You know, they're setting up, they're trying to figure out things. And sometimes someone might say something and might just say, oh, I could try that, you know? And I'm not gonna pretend to, 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 to know it or do it. I've done once the only online teaching sciences and it was a hell of a game, you know? Como that, I've done it for math, but it wasn't the pure hybrid where in class and online. I've done the uh, two days online, three days in class and flip. I've done that before. That worked out, but that requires a super planning, lots and lots of planning. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So maybe we could do, I'm gonna invite Benoit once to come and we'll talk maybe to a couple of people who have the art, the, the, the craft master to come and have a conversation about it. I think that would help people, but I'm gonna try to kind of target maybe the, ne the next year, I'm gonna try to target with topics, you know, like probably get people to talk about just secondary to math or uh, like maybe the 59 or, you know, I'm going to try to target it by, by topic. Maybe I'm going to even invite Kathy and Jack because we've been, I've been getting a lot of requests about teaching, um, teaching uh, difficult students or uh, students with difficulties. Like, how do you go about it? How do you set it up? The, 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 the zone of development. 
uh, uh, another subject that came up, which is super interesting, and I think could help everyone, la surcharge cognitive, overloading the mind, you know, that is, that is something that we could do stuff in the classroom to kind of elevate the stress on the students so they could learn more. So, of course, these are all people who know a lot more about this. And it's not, you know, they do that for a living, you know. So, um, and we also got a new service this year, which is amazing. It's about health and uh, suicide prevention. So mental health. So this is somebody that I'm going to also, Martin, I'm going to ask her to come and, and talk to us about maybe tricks and tips, because we have loaded class with students who have difficulties, mental health, that it's maybe outside of curriculum, but we can't teach if they're not well, right? So, but for sure, specifically, if you if you want a specific topic, please send it to me so I can find the right person to 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 bring them in and maybe have them as a guest speaker for 15, 20 minutes just to have these conversations started and it could help. But uh, but the uh, hybrid definitely Benoit had spoken to him about it and he is more than happy and willing to, to come and share his his thoughts that I know he he was willing so. If you want it before the end of the year, I can I can make that happen. If you if you if this is something you're interested in, maybe I'll I'll try to 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 do that this session maybe. The hybrid, uh, especially the lab parts online, you know, uh, distance adds very uh, interesting uh, questions around all the lab capabilities. So there are a lot of questions on that and uh, our feeling is more students are shared between students and uh, centers uh, it looks like online education could increase some numbers or attendance in there and uh, make it uh, easier for some of them uh, i'll be very careful because some of them definitely want to keep the uh, the in class uh, learning but yeah. uh, for a lot of students we could uh, help and support better if we were able to teach online. And of yeah. course, the lab component is a whole question for me. I don't know how you do it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, anyway, and plus the commitment and the engagement of the students uh, online is definitely a challenge also. So, uh, so we're there. And still, I think that if we want to increase our education, we need That's where we are. It's a big yeah. debate. So any help in this matter would uh, would really greatly appreciate. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir, because that's what I'm going to take from what you're saying. Now I'm going to get something, somebody on hybrid. I'm going to get somebody about mental health, about like how to maybe online engagement. You know, I'll I'll, I'll make a list and please add to it of inter topics of interest so I can find the right people for it. And um, I'm gonna see if I could make math and science together for this topic, because if you, most of us, we're doing math and science anyways, it's the same group of people anyways, you it know. Is diff it's different, sorry if I may interfere. No, no, go ahead. I would really appreciate to keep the focus on science. It's not okay. the same debate at all, you know why? Because the math is easier, you know, they have math health services, they have a lot of possibilities in there, yeah. Sorry, I don't yeah. push the matter. No, 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 no. I understand. I understand. We have had this debate in our center. It's, I think it's really uh, different because okay. our uh, challenge in sciences, I see it totally different from the, yeah. from the yeah. math. So yeah. um, that's why. No, no, definitely. I'd be very careful. And we have also less students in science than in math. So sometimes yeah. I feel the science is really pushed. Yeah. And not, yeah right now what i would yeah yeah no 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 the, the, it's important and and just to to share something with you the more we're going the more we're going to go online more and more so expect a lot of things also to be That's online what I'm afraid of. yeah so, so yeah uh, so we have uh, to start looking at alternate if, but, I but, but, if i understand what barbara said as well it doesn't look like the roman is going to uh, simplify the lab part of the science Unfortunately, so uh, I don't know if it's gonna simplify this one. I I, I let Barbara talk it too. To simplify, I'm not sure it's gonna simplify, but uh, definitely it's gonna clear some part of it. But simplify, I'm not sure. There's 
And there's still a competency level yeah. that we still have to demonstrate, unfortunately. And you know what the 40, the 40, 60 will remain as much as I understand. Oh, absolutely. Um, right. 40 but lab 60 will be mandatory and will continue. Sanction des études has been very clear on these. Yeah. So uh, I don't see any, uh, we have to adjust to that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In the, uh, just to be clear, the 59 and 60 is mandated to be taught for students who did not pass the, the, the high school sciences, okay? So this no, is for everybody, but, you know, so it is still, uh, it's still, uh, it's still in, uh, okay, no, it's still definitely, okay. they, they're not going to go away, Sarah, trust me. Okay. Yeah. Have Thank a lovely you. end of the day. Thank you for being here and uh, anything new, I will definitely let you know, but I will contact someone for, for the hybrid for sure. For sure. Hopefully by next time I'll get some, I'll get Benoit to come with me and Thank he's you. wonderful. He'll be able to, to help us.